All right, so I got another video for you today. We are headed back up to North Central Pennsylvania. Specifically, we are gonna be going to Clinton County to try to fish a PA wilderness trout stream named Lick Run. This is a 15 or so odd mile stream uh, entirely contained within um, some beautiful state game lands. I've never been here before. Read a little bit about it online. It should be a mixed uh, native brook trout and wild brown trout fishery. From what I've read on, uh, you know, some blog posts, it seems to be a difficult place to fly fish because of, you know, trees and rhododendron and shrub shrubbery. So I am going to bring my uh, spinning rod using single barbless hooks in addition to the uh, normal Panther Martin single barbless hooks I use. I'm also really excited. I'm going to be using some uh, Grumpaw's Tackle single barbless hook spinners on Lick Run. So anyways, I'm driving up through the mountains right now, as you can see. Uh, it is a Friday. The temperatures today are going to be in the mid-50s, uh, low wind, a little bit sunny. It's going to get overcast later. However, um, I think I should have the stream to myself. We shall see. It did rain the last couple days, so water levels might be a tad high. I'm really, really, really hoping that it's not going to be blown out. We shall see. Anyways, let me get up to this uh, PA Wilderness Trout Stream, Class A. Uh, lick run, Clinton County, state game lands, probably spot burning, don't care. So let's just see what happens. All right, so I found some parking uh, on lick run in the state game land section. As you can see, she's running uh, pretty high, pretty fast. Um, so it's not gonna be the easiest fishing today. I'm definitely gonna have to cover, I assume, a lot of water to find areas where I can uh, throw my single barbless hook spinners so they don't just get swept away immediately. Uh, so fortunately there is this beautiful uh, state game lands trail. I know it goes in at least two miles so I should be able to use this to hop on and off of the stream. I don't know if this is a high density you know native brook trout wild brown trout fishery. Uh, I've read differing reports online so we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right so I just made it out to the stream. It looks like the main stem is over here on the right. It splits off into this little section over here so the water is much bigger than it's being given credit for in this shot, but I guess we're gonna fish this little side section, get out to the main section of Lick Run, and uh, yeah, see if we can put some trout on the board. It has warmed up a little bit. I'm actually working up a bit of a sweat after hiking on that trail for a little while. So let's just uh, see what happens. Again, I do not think it's gonna be lights out fishing today, but we'll just kinda see what happens. All right, so I've been fishing for probably 45 minutes, really no bites, and we've been hitting some decent water even for how high the uh, stream levels are right now after the rain. I think my plan is I just pop back onto this uh, nice little trail that parallels the stream. I'm gonna push in pretty far. Um, I'm thinking because this section of Lick Run is very close to where it dumps into the west branch of the Susquehanna River, um, maybe the lower section, either by virtue of being fished more often or just, uh, you know, environmental factors. Maybe it warms up too much in the summer. I don't know. Um, I am going to push a little bit further in. All right, so about two minutes ago, I finally got my first bite. I think it was like only like a seven or eight inch, maybe wild brownie, native brookie, who knows. Uh, first bite though of the entire morning. I'm not gonna lie, before I started spin fishing, I did, I did attempt to fly fish for like two hours, really like an hour and a half. Um, got absolutely no bites. There were no uh, flies hatching. I was using nymphs and I got absolutely no love. So 
Uh, the stream uh, broke out into two branches on the right. I'm on the left. I did just get my first bite, which is wonderful. All right, sorry I missed it. After literally hours of fishing, fly fishing, spin fishing, etc., finally got our first fish. Just a little wild brownie. Beautiful colors, though. Beautiful reds. Absolutely stunning fish. We're going to get them right out of here. See you later, bud. Get out of here. Whew. All right, well, hopefully, now that I don't have much time left, hopefully we're in the trout zone. I can start catching some fish. Let's keep rolling. Got him. Whew. Just got a little brookie. Let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. Awesome. All right, so only our second fish of the day. Really excited to see him though. Probably about a four or five inch brookie, nothing crazy. We're gonna just quick take a look at him, get him right out of here. Absolutely exquisite colors. Wow, look at those colors, beautiful, beautiful. Get out of here, bud. Whew. All right, so we just got our second trout. Long time coming, very long time coming. Very happy to see it though. This is a very difficult stream. Once you get once you get past the two mile trail, which we're way past. Oh, oh, just missed one. Once you get past the uh, trail that parallels this stream, I mean, as you can see, it's just thick on either side. So you're just trudging through the water, and it it is brutal. It has not been uh, easy to say the least. Got another little guy. Let's get this single barbless hook right out of him. Take a look at him. All right, so nothing big on this stream, but we definitely are in the native brook trout and wild brow trout zone, which is great. Got a nice five or six inch wild brown. We're gonna get him right out of here. Get out of here, bud. Awesome. Ugh. Oh my God. Yep. This is uh, pretty hard. I mean, you got a sheer bank over there. You got rhododendron jungle over there. I do not envy, envy myself for having to get back this same way. No loop, no loop. All right, so as I take a quick break, take a quick breather on Lick Run, I just wanted to bring up, so normally I'm using a uh, single barbless hook uh, Panther Martin trout spinners, as you can see on the right, but also today I was really fortunate to be sent some uh, single barbless hooks from Grumpaw's Tackle. Uh, this is a company that's all about conservation, autism awareness, um, and they had sent me a few spinners over here on the left uh, to test out. Um, I took them out the other day, caught a bunch of trout locally. I think I was on the Yellow Breaches. Um, today I've been using them, um, I think the second, maybe the second or first trout I caught using um, the Grumpaw's Tackle Single Barbless Hook Spinner on the left. Wonderful company, um, very happy to showcase these spinners. You can see a link in the description below, um, which will take you to where you could purchase these spinners. I really think they're high quality. Uh, they spin really well in the water. You can obviously catch trout with them. Uh, also, you can use promo code TRAVELINGTROUT10 to uh, get a discount as well. So check them out, again, Grumpaw's Tackle. Thank you very much.
Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Woo All right, let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. So we just got by far the nicest fish of the day. Still a little small, probably about, let's say, I don't know, maybe eight or nine inches, nothing crazy. We're gonna get him right out of here. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. All right, so with beautiful Lick Run in the background, we're gonna wrap up for today. Um, we fished uh, Lick Run up in Clinton County um, in some state game lands. This is a PA wilderness trout stream. And although, as you can still see, the water is very high, we did manage to catch four trout. I think it was a mixture of native brook trout, wild brown trout, the biggest being, I don't know, maybe like eight inches, nothing crazy. There was a lot of hiking and trudging uh, and just, it was very difficult to access this stream, very difficult to fish. As you can see though, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful, a true wilderness experience. Um, I would definitely come back if the conditions were a little bit better. Uh, so that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.